Good morning, good morning, good morning. Bueno, si es mi gente, yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 740. Primarily in a row, my name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here, honored and humbled that you keep coming back, like for reals. Hey, it's a Mamba Monday, right? Uh, on Mondays, we talk about adopting the Mamba mentality and attacking whatever's in front of you instead of waiting for things to happen. Um, today is no different. Uh, the date is October the 26th, 2020. It's a work day. I got work to do. Let's do it. First things first, still the realist. You know what else I am? I'm good, right? My son, Jack, um, a year ago, one of the few things he would say is he would say, hi, Jack. He'd say, no, I'm a good boy, right? And when I'm thinking about everything that's swirling around me right now, I'm like, man, people can say whatever they want to. That doesn't mean that it's true. And if, if I can block out that noise and just concentrate on who, who am I? I'm a good man, right? I was a good boy when I was a kid. I have good children. I'm a good person. And for people to attack me the way that they've been attacked, like, I'm just not going to engage, which leads me to my real talk. Sticks and stones, baby, right? You can say whatever you want. It doesn't mean that it's true, right? And so, again, while I have people attacking my character maliciously with no basis, just talking nonsense, right? And I have to remind myself, those are just words. They're not factual. People that are engaging in that behavior are not your friends. They don't love you. They're showing you who they really are. Just understand what it is, right? Nobody ever said it was going to be easy. Everybody knows that when you're the coach of a team, that the parents are the ones that are going to make it awful and they're going to attack you and attack your character. And you just have to believe that you're being, it's an opportunity you've for you to prepare for something much greater, which brings me to my thank yous. Number one, God has been good to us in the good times and the bad. This morning, as I was cleaning up, mopping the floor, just sitting there thinking, why, why, why? All I could think of was my friend Jeff Bennington saying, you know what? Once I stopped asking why bad things happened to me and started understanding that God was preparing me for something greater, everything changed. I have to continue to remind myself, God is preparing me for something bigger. I am thankful for football. I'm thankful for a sport that elicits this kind of emotional reaction from people, seriously, and to be able to be in the middle of it and the fact that I get to be the coach and that my son gets to be a contributor to the team, it's fun. I'm thankful for the fake friends, more and more thankful for the song by G-Eazy and BB where they talk about what you should do with fake friends, but it's like this, and there's another F in that song, and it, um, yeah, fornicate fake friends, right? Like, don't come at me and act like you want to be my friend. Like, if you want to talk nonsense, throw up toxic stuff behind my back, why don't you just look me in the face and be like, hey, I don't like you. Because guess what? I probably don't like you either, right? Uh, I'm thankful for Aaron Rodgers. I, I was complaining last week about how the Packers had a bye week and came back from bye week and then just complete, and, and they looked great for the first couple possessions against the Buccaneers, just fold up shop, got blown out on national TV. Ugh, right? So I'm like, man, I can't wait till this weekend. They're going down to Houston where they finally got rid of Bill O'Brien, but hell, they got rid of their best receiver. That place is a dumpster fire. We're going to go down there and get a big win. And that's what real football players do. They have a bad game like the Packers did last week. Their number one uh, running back was out, and they still hung, what, 35 points on the Texans with J.J. Watt and all those guys? Seriously, it's a big game. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see it, but I'm still thankful for A-Rod. I'm thankful for TB12, right? You see what's going on down there? TB12, again, first week had two interceptions, two touchdowns. You know, you're like, eh, I don't know about this. Like, by now, they're the best team in the NFC. And they've got Antonio Brown coming, which Tom Brady said, give me him. Give me another down. Like, it's going to be crazy if they can keep it together. I'm thankful for Mayor McCheese. Did any of you watch that disaster that was the Cowboys game? Just completely heartless effort. A guy from the other team, late hit took their quarterback's helmet off, and nobody did anything. Nobody even looked at the guy. They're like, whatever, go ahead and kill our guy. That's yeah, not our regular guy. Just terrible. And, you know, all the guys on uh, TV are yelling at the players, like, man, it's the, it is the coach's responsibility to make sure that team stays together. Thankful for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Man, they're good. They're one win away from the World Series title that they deserved a couple years ago. And I think once they break through, we might see this a lot. Clayton Kershaw had a great game. It's a lot of fun. I'm also thankful for grace. I've spent all the, the whole weekend thinking about grace and about the grace that has been shown to me in my life, the grace that I've tried to extend to others, and the way that 
you, grace is just a continuous thing, right? Because people are still going to continue to do nasty things. And I got to find some grace so that I don't behave, uh, like I said in the Lord's Prayer, so that it, follow his perfect example, right? Check this out. Wanted to wait till this Mamba Monday. I told you guys about this last week. Look at that. Lakers, Kobe Bryant, final game, 4-13-2016. This is confetti that literally fell from the stadium's rafters onto the floor. And my guy, R.A., picked it up and mailed me a bag. How about that? That's friendship right there. You know what else I'm thankful for? Today, tomorrow, I'm thankful for it all. Seriously. Even if people want to come at me with some weak sauce, right? I'm good. I'm ready. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow on a terrific Tuesday. Can't wait to see it. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Stop trying to tear each other down. Build each other up. It works better that way. Trust me. Hashtag Real Talk. Deuces. Love you guys. Bye.